Hello and welcome to the Crafty Beer Guy Reviews a Beer, Beer Review number four. My good mate Arthur, beer journalist, good bloke to have with you. So, as per the last video, we have another one from Brew York, founded in 2016. Know what they're doing. Got a couple of tap rooms, Pocklington and Leeds, as well as the one in York, where you can sit and watch them brew beer whilst having a lovely pint yeah so we have this one today born under peaches peach iced tea sour well we've definitely got the temperature for the ice here yeah it? it is february it is minus well it's not actually not quite minus i think the temperature gauge over there says about 3.8 um it doesn't measure the wind chill, so <laughs> yeah, we've got the door shut because it is a bit drafty in here. Yeah. So yeah, this one is a peach iced tea sour. Hebden tea. Don't you miss it? Don't you miss it? Brewed with Philly sour yeast and Emperor's Seven Treasures Tea from York-based Hebden Tea that combines Sri Lankan black tea and sencha leaves with rose blossom, sunflower blossom and sweet peach for a balanced palette of delicious floral notes, stone fruit juiciness and tea-like tannins. So it's Yorkshire tea <laughs> with peach. Yorkshire! Yeah, I'm originally from Yorkshire. Um, That's near Lancashire, isn't it? <coughs> yep. To the side at Thills. Right. As I looked at it on a map from south up to north, Yorkshire's aren't right, Lancashire's aren't left. White roses, red roses. Yeah, so that thing called Pennines keeps him away. Right. Actually, I've got a mate from Lancashire. He's a really good guy, really nice guy. So, and Fred Dibner was from Lancashire, and I idolised him as a kid. Right. So yeah, Hebden tea. Let's uh, get it in a glass, and um, without further ado, let's get it in a glass and see what it looks like. Right, let's get it in a glass. Let's have a listen. As soon as I opened it, I could smell the peaches. Mm. Definitely peach. I'm getting tea in there as well. It's like black tea, isn't it? I think, yeah. Sort of... Peaches and tea. Peachy, orangey colour. Foamy head. Mm. Very small bubbles on the in the body of the head and larger ones on top. Quite foamy. Well, I wouldn't think the combination of peach and tannins work, but they do. If you like peaches, wow. Wow. <laughs> so, if I, the fruit hits you first, and you get the tannins from the tea, and then the, you get the aftertaste of peaches as well. Yeah. <laughs> That's brilliant. <laughs> that. So, like, as soon, it is a sour... It is a peach iced tea sour. It's not that sour though. No, it's not that sour. You get a, you get the initial hit, and then the tannins come through. You get the fruit, the tannins, and peach. If you don't like peach, don't buy this beer. But you get the sweetness from the peach. Mm. Are you getting sweetness from the yeah. peach? Peachy tea, yeah. I mean, it's a combination. You wouldn't think that would work, but it does. Especially with it being a sour. Hmm. 
that is fantastic. <laughs> I wouldn't give it as far as fantastic. I mean, yes, it's good, but I think I would I say it's fantastic. There's a word I'm looking for. Unbelievable. I mean, it's, yeah, yeah. It's 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 not the combination you'd expect to work in a beer. Um, Especially with the black, what is it? It's black, black tea. It's black salon tea. Yeah, Sri Lankan black tea. Which is actually, you know, putting that tea leaf smell in there as well, and the aroma. Now it's gone down a bit now, it's started to warm up. As well as the tea, you've got the, you've sold, as you well as the get, peach. You get, you get an initial hit of peach on the nose. But you do get the tea. I'm getting the tea, mm. and I got the tea when I first... When I first opened it, with a with a back scent of peach, and then you have a you have a mouthful of it, and it's just I don't really get the peach on the palate until after I've swallowed it. When it's in, it's like you're drinking a cup of black tea. It tastes like tea, and then you swallow it, and the oxygen gets into your palate, or however the magic works. And you just get whoosh, peach. Mm. I like that. That is a good one. I don't know how they made it work. I really don't know how they well, made it work. I don't know how work. they come up with this thing. It's not throwing a dartboard of <laughs> flavours and a, oh, love the dart, it's peach. Oh, the, the dart, it's sour. Oh, the dart, it's tea. Let's brew that and. Um, yeah, it, it's an odd combination, but, you know, it works lovely and refreshing. Again, it's a beer for people who don't like beer. Yeah, but I like beer. I like beer. But, I like beer. You know, is people, oh, beer's too hoppy for me, it's too bitter for me, it's not fruity enough. Well, something like this. Yeah. 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 Because people tend to... I, I, I run a pop-up craft beer bottle shop in Monmouth find us there every Saturday open from about 9am um, no plug intended um, but no I, I get customers all the time come to me and say I don't like hoppy beer I don't like I don't like coffee in a stout um, okay yeah I don't like this I don't like that Fair enough. Everybody's palates are different, hence why there's two people tasting it here, so we can then compare and contrast. Um, and I've got a few customers that are open to trying everything, so they'll go all the way around the stall, from the pale ales to the Belgian beers to the traditionals to the sours to the German lagers, the German wheat beers the ciders, the stouts, the porters, the imperial stouts. Um, yes, yeah, so if, if you ever hear impy stout, imperial stout tends to be quite strong. You're talking for an imperial stout 7 8% above. And, yeah. and above, yeah. And above. Yeah. Um, one brewery, Neon Raptor, Nottingham. They did one called... Well, I'll give you the percentage first. It was 14.5% and it was called Get On The Floor. Yeah, I think you would be on the floor after a couple of them. The Courage Imperial Russian Stout used to be about 11%. And um, I think it was last brewed in 1991. I happen to have a few bottles left. Um, the last time I opened one, it tasted burnt rubber. So it wasn't the greatest. Uh, so... I don't know, it might come time we have to open a bottle of Courage Imperial Russian Stout. Yeah, and we, let's try, yeah, I, w this is beer review number four, and we can already, there's already a couple of stains on the bar, and I wonder what it's like when we get to beer 365 in, say, several months' time, we'll be like, ooh, yeah, actually, that's a stain from the last beer we did, which was, what was beer review number three? That was the cherry oh, cola cherry sour. Cola. Yeah, let's see what next week or whenever we come back and do another. Let's see what colour that remains. Um, yeah, I do intend to bottle cap this, though. But it, it adds character. It was like yeah, 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 yeah. It adds yeah. character, different um, yeah residue. Um, but no, I like this one. I think this is this is unexpected. 
Mm. Very, very, very unexpected. Yeah, like that one. Yeah, like that one. That would be a perfect, perfect um, finish the evening beer. Yeah. I think. So you've had some um, some pale ales which are hoppy and... Yeah. Yeah, and you just want something nice and pleasant to finish off. The sour's always good for cleansing the palate at the end of the night. Anyway. Of course, yeah. So. Um, hence, when, when I, whenever I go out... I always try and I'll always finish with a with a sour even if it's just a third I will always finish with a sour because it, it, it the flavours with this are just there they're just lingering they're just staying and what a beer so I think hats off to Brew York on this one it's um, unexpected peachy very peachy I can't emphasise how peachy it is but it's it, it says everything it does everything it says on the tin it really does. Tea, peach, sour. Beautiful. Yep. So, like, subscribe, leave a comment if you've tried this. Um, leave a comment, notifications, hit the bell, turn them on, and we will catch you at the next one. Cheers.